Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Cyberpunk 2077. Now, Geeky has not played Cyberpunk 2077. No. Have you watched Squid King play it? No. Okay, well, it's about Cyberpunk. Yeah. We're, we're going to talk. I've been busy. I know. She's been very busy. This is why she hasn't been in a lot of videos, guys. She's been very busy uh, fulfilling orders and getting the toys delivered to the underprivileged kids. You guys have been a huge, massive help. Yay. Uh, thank you for that. But we're going to talk about Cyberpunk and how now they're offering refunds. Refunds to PS4 and PS5 gamers because the reviews have not been good on the consoles. Well, I, it was funny because Squid King and you were just talking about this right before I saw the article. And they were saying about, you guys were saying about how the consoles were doing so badly compared yeah. to like, the you know, on the computer, it looks so much better. Mm -hmm. And that's what you were saying. And then this came up right after you said that. So I sent it over to you because I was like, oh, you're going to be interested in this. Yeah, we'll do a follow up because there's been a lot of controversy around this game. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that before we do. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're almost 160,000 subs. Thank you. Might be past that now. And also check out the pre-order for the Neon and Geeky pins. Uh, you've only got eight days uh, yeah. to get the pin set. So Geeky's got her bow brush, and I got my big pencil. And next we're going to probably do the kids, right? Yeah, I think we're going to do uh, Pinky Boo and Squid King. Uh, we'll do some different pins and then we'll start mixing it up. We'll do some different stuff, maybe some slogan, something. But, uh, you know, if you don't pre order them now, there's no guarantee you will get them later. We only had a handful of Bubbly Steve pins left. Um, I think we're almost out. We might be out mm -hmm. here within the next day or so. So you might not get them at all if you don't order now. Best way to support us. Thank you for the support this year. It's been amazing. And uh, yeah, let's talk about this because Cyberpunk 2077, there was talk of it being review bombed. Mm. And we're really talking about two very different versions of the game. The PC version of Cyberpunk is freaking awesome. It's really, really good. However, we were running it on a very high-end PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes a difference. Now, people playing it on PlayStation are saying that it's uh, a mess. It's not very good on PS4, uh, base PS4, not PS4 Pro. And the backlash has been severe. Uh, it's got a, was it a 2.8 uh, now Ooh. on Metacritic for the PS4 version. And it's not because the game's bad, it's because they can't run it right. Very that well. is my understanding, yes. Okay. That people, I'm asking you because I, I'm not. I'll yeah. So I can't speak to the PS4 version. I'll be honest. I mean, we, we said the game was very good. However, we played it on two different PCs, maxed out the settings. One of the PCs is 9.9, you know. Um, and it runs beautifully. We haven't had very many, if any, issues with it. And I know when they show you screenshots of it, they're usually showing you the PC version, right. not the PS4 version. So people are very upset about the PS4 version of it, and they're actually giving people um, a refund. Uh, so they're reportedly issuing refunds for Cyberpunk on PS4. Some digital players claim they were reimbursed after complaining about performance. Um, so that's interesting. So this isn't verified. This is some people were saying that they were getting reimbursed. Yeah, it said social okay. media videos show the PS4 and Xbox One versions of Cyberpunk taking a significant amount of time to load environments and characters, as well as suffering from graphical glitches and even some full-on crashes. Ooh. I have heard that. I mean, look, I'm, I know that journalists, gaming journalists, have been gunning for this game for a while because the developers are basically like, you know, screw you guys. We don't care what the game journals think. Uh, game journals have tried attacking the game for years before mm -hmm. it came out, they were accusing the game of being transphobic and all this other stuff. So my first reaction was actually like, well, this is just another reason to take a dump on the game. Mm -hmm. But people are actually saying, no, it doesn't run well on the consoles. And how can you put a PS4 up against a top of the line gaming right, rig and can't. expect but it people, to be the but same people, thing? Yeah, so people should understand that, you know, too, going into it. Right, right. So recent technical analysis, Digital Foundry called Cyberpunk's performance on the PS4 unacceptable. Then you shouldn't um, release it for that system if you can't, you know, support it. Yeah, one Reddit one Reddit user claimed on Saturday he was able to receive a refund on his digital PS4 game by calling PlayStation support line. Now everybody's in a call now. Yep. I had to file a support claim online and sit on hold for over an hour to speak with someone. However, they are quick to issue a refund and then delete the game off my library. Steam will do this too. They give you mm -hmm. so long to like return the game. I know Squid yeah. King's downloaded games before and he's like, this is garbage. And they'll actually give them a refund. Right. It's a digital download. It doesn't cost them anything. It's not like they're, you know, physically mm -hmm. have to handle stuff. Um, 
Other users in the same Reddit thread claim they were able to get a refund by contacting PlayStation support. Well, that will probably change because everybody's going to go flooding PlayStation That's support. exactly what's going to happen. Uh, one user added, I spent an hour on the phone after being denied by chatbot and I got my refund. Shout out to uh, this person for the advice on mentioning the game crashing and not being able to progress any further. Well, that's unacceptable. That is. You know, that's pretty much all I have to say. Sony introduced a new PlayStation Store refund policy last year, which gives users 14 days to cancel purchases. Well, that's kind of dumb because, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that you, you have to have like limited time on playing it because otherwise people would play the whole damn game and they'd be like, oh. I didn't, it wasn't as enjoyable yeah. as I thought. You yeah, know? you can beat some of these newer games in like a couple hours. Well, yeah, look, her legs are missing. Oh, wow. Just floating. Um, what are some of these clips here? Yeah, so this looks very different than it does on PC. Um, wow, it just got like <laughs> pushed back. for. It, look, this game was designed for, even though it's been in development for a long time, it was clearly designed for PC first. Mm -hmm. Possibly PlayStation 5, you know. Um, so CD Projekt Red released a new update on Friday, which it says fixes various issues across Quest gameplay and performance. It also pledged to continue improving the game through further patches. Yeah, and we've seen this happen before. What was the one game that Squid Game bought and um, it took a while? They promised all this stuff and when it came out. Oh, what was the game? Um, oh, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. And, it, and they had to make all kinds of, you know, people were getting a refund. I think he got a refund originally, too, because it was not what they said. And it took actually two or three years for them to come out with enough stuff to make it what they originally said it was going to be. Yeah. So on, um, yeah, with No Man's Sky, it, it actually did eventually wind up being the game they promised. Mm -hmm. It's it actually very longer. good. It took like three or four years to get to that point with various updates. And that's what a lot of people were wondering did they shove this game out the door mm -hmm. because they were already getting a lot of shit for mm -hmm. it taking so long to develop? That's what happened with No Man's Sky. And that, yeah, No Man's Sky. And they're like, it's going to do X, Y, Z thing. Now, it does. It, no Man's Sky is actually a very good game. Now. Now. Uh, <laughs> so, day one, it was like. He was so upset. I remember he was so upset about it. And I think that's the thing, too, because people get their expectations up so high. They're mm -hmm. like, this is going to be the second coming. Uh, and when it's not, they're like, oh, OK. But to have it crash the machine yeah. is, is unacceptable. Yeah. Uh, clearly, they were they were gunning for. But they're starting to PC. make fixes to it. But if we're going to be honest, you know, it could take a while. Well, it's like I keep thinking back to the the good old days. Uh, back in the old days, they used to put games on cartridges and mm -hmm. CD-ROMs, and we had no uh, online play. You couldn't get patches, so if a game was buggy or broken, guess what? You were stuck with it. Now, what happens about <laughs> the people who bought this? Could you buy copies, physically copies of this? Yeah, one? yeah. What about those? Are those people I, having issues, or is it just the the? the I think it's just the digital uh, copies that that they'll give you a refund on. I was just asking because I'm not familiar. Yeah. I haven't been here. I've been very busy. Yeah, so on the PC though, it, it runs beautifully. I mean, I you know we played the other night. Unfortunately, it is so demanding of processor power that we went to record the first hour of gameplay, and we picked the uh, the Nomad career, mm -hmm. and uh, we had a hell of a lot of fun playing it. And I went to watch the video, and it was choppy because the computer couldn't run the game and render the video at the same time, which I have never had happen no. ever with any game ever. And we've, we've run some higher end games mm -hmm. and done gameplay, but it, it really was pushing it as far. And I'm like, well, if it's pushing, and this is a, uh, we are running off of a, an Omen laptop, a higher end Omen laptop. And I'm like, well, if it's pushing that thing to the limit, it's absolutely gonna push a, a PS4. Yeah. You know, but he hasn't had any problems on the desktop no. PC with it at all. But it is good they're giving refunds. Um, you know, they've had 8 million downloads of this game. It recouped its development costs in like a day. Yeah, so, I mean, um, hopefully they'll fix some of this stuff moving forward. They're already trying to, but I don't know if you're going to be able to fix it too much because you're talking about PS4s, which are, are going to be, you know, are switching to PS5s now, and they're not going to be looking to PS4. To, they're going to be looking ahead. They're not going to be looking behind. Yeah. So I don't know how they're, how much is going to get fixed for PS4, but PS5 might get some fixes. Yeah, I think it's just, yeah. I mean, this is gameplay on the, the base PS4. Um, it looks like a totally different game than what we played. You know, again, it just it clearly was not. Oh, yeah. That didn't look <laughs> you know, it was clearly not designed for PS4, even if it started the, the development cycle. But uh, we'll see what happens. But that's definitely hurting it. I mean, the game's good if you can play it on the right equipment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I can't speak to the console versions because we don't own it. But it is good that they're apparently giving refunds. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, so we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.